I start with seeking protection and refuge from Satan, the Shaitan, the cursed enemy of man. With Allah's name, the rest for benefactor, the rest for redeemer. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and the completion and the seal of the prophets and what follows are the traditional salutations of peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak, dear beloved brothers and sisters, where today we are focused on Juz 2, verse uh, 142 to 252 and Sirah 2, Al-Baqarah the Heifer. We're going to be focused on a few verses here um, in the uh, this period of verses one of which, Ayats 185 to 187, which focus on the reminder of the period of time that we are in now, which is the month of Ramadan, that Allah says that this month is the month of revelation, that the first Ayats of Surah 96, Iqra, read, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Wasallam during the month of Ramadan, that this book, this book that Allah has revealed is a book of guidance for all mankind, and it is our judgment. It is served to be judgment on matters which is good and matters that which are wrong. And that we should be focused on making a concerted effort during this period of time, since this is the month of revelation, that we spend more of our time reading a juz, at least a juz each day on, up, uh, on the Quran, about the Quran, to learn more about what Allah has said so we can implement more of that in our daily lives. So we can start forming new habits and start destroying old habits. Now Allah also reminds us that the mercies during this time period, that if you're ill or traveling, that you can make up those days after Ramadan is over, as long as, as, long as it happens between now and the next Ramadan. This is a beautiful way of life that Allah, Allah has created beautiful way of life that he has given us, dear beloved brothers and sisters, a well-balanced perspective, a comprehensive way of life is al-Islam. And that also he reminds us that we are to avoid uh, food and drink and avoid also things, uh, a lawful, a lawful attractions to our, our spouses, lawful sexual actions. And those things that are good, food and drink and lawful actions, those are halal, we can return back to those after the iftar. And then between that period until the next day, the mercy of Allah, the, His protection that He says that our spouses are our garments for us. That's so what Allah describes our spouses. And Allah also talks about and reminds us about the signs that He has sent. In Ayah 211, He talks about the people of the book or the children of Israel and how many clear signs that He has sent them. After Allah's favor has, has come, people forget, we forget, man forgets. We get so caught up as what Ayat 212 mentions about the allurements of this life, the allurements of the, dun of the dunya, and that this is temporary. What we do here in terms of gaining material success is temporary because none of that returns with us when we go back to Allah. We go back to the grave, to the earth. And there's a group of people or minds that scuffed and rejected the signs and rejected the day of resurrection. You don't want to be those type of people. And Allah also reminds us too about in 2.14 that if we think that we're not going to be tried like the people before us, then we're also going to be Try. And we're going to suffer some adversity, some challenges. And that the Prophet Sallallahu was shaken. And so were the early believers were shaken. They went through a lot of challenges and trials and tribulations, death, famine, war, etc. But Allah reminds us that the ultimate 
win is those who retain their faith. And inshallah, this Ramadan, may Allah increase us in faith. May Allah increase us in rewards. And may Allah accept our fast. Inshallah. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank <laughs> you.